Hey everyone, and welcome to World Heritage Journey. Today, we're at the Painted Churches of Moldavia in the far north of Romania. Now this World Heritage Site is a collection of eight painted churches that all date from the 16th century. They're absolutely beautifully decorated and they're really, really impressive. Let's have a look around. So of the eight churches that are inscribed as part of this entry on the World Heritage List, we've decided to visit three of them today, including this one at Suchovitsa Monastery. Now, this was set up as a fortress against the Ottoman Turks, which is why it has massive stone walls surrounding the complex. But of course, the highlight really is the painting on the church itself. If you look around, you can see all sorts of stories from the Old and the New Testament, like Adam and Eve, of course, the Last Judgment too. And there's lots and lots of depictions of various saints and martyrs too. It's really, really fascinating. And the decorations continue inside the church as well. Though as with many Orthodox churches, we're not allowed to film inside, so I'm afraid I can't show you. So this is the second monastery we're looking at today, and it's known as Moldavitsa. It's a slightly older building than the monastery we saw earlier, and so the paintings aren't in quite as good condition, particularly on the other side of the building, though on this side they're absolutely fantastic. Now what I love about these monasteries is that they all have a particular highlight colour. Earlier the monastery was blue, this one is highlighted in yellow and it just jumps out at you off the wall, particularly in the halos behind the saints. And one of my favourite frescoes that you can see is down the bottom here and it depicts when the Virgin Mary interceded to save the city of Constantinople from a Persian attack in 653, though they've actually painted it as the Ottoman siege of Constantinople from the 15th century. And so this is the third and final church that we're looking at today, and it's in the town of Voronets. And again, the outside is just absolutely spectacular. The whole western facade of the church is taken up with this gorgeous fresco of the Last Judgment, and the detail and the colouring is just absolutely sensational. I'm really, really impressed by it. And there's some fantastic other paintings as well. On the southern facade of the church, you can see the tree of Jesse or the genealogy of Jesus. And that's really, really well done as well. Now the highlight color of this church is blue and it's actually quite a famous shade of blue. It's known as Voronets blue after the church here. And it's been a really interesting day. We've checked out three of the different churches and they're all quite similar, but they're all very different and unique as well. And very specific to the area. So I've had a lot of fun. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you'd like to see more from the World Heritage Journey. I'll see you next time.